the mid-1980s, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn was struggling to organize a study on coronary artery disease. His plan was to put a group of patients on a diet of low-fat plant-based foods, along with small quantities of low-fat dairy products and minimal amounts of cholesterol-reducing drugs. And slowly, over the next uh, 18 months, I got the 24 patients that I had asked for. But the ones they sent me were a little bit sicker than I had thought. These were patients who had failed their first or second bypass operation. They had failed their first or second angioplasty. And there were five who we were told by their expert cardiologists they would not live out the year. One of the most gravely ill patients was a 59-year-old speech and communications teacher, Evelyn Oswick. I ate all the chocolate candy I could eat, I ate every donut I could put my hands on. Oh, I just love things like that, a lot of gravy. And then um, I had my, I have had two heart attacks before I met Dr. Esselstyn. When I had the second heart attack, the doctor said that I should prepare for death, really, is what he said. And I looked at him and I said, do you really mean that what you want me to do is buy a rocking chair and just sit there and rock away and wait? And he just looked at me and he said, yes, that's just exactly what I'm saying. Anthony Yen was born and raised in China. And we were eating a uh, typical Chinese cultural diet. A uh, very small uh, piece of meat, but they slice it, and so it was uh, called for flavor rather than in you know, American style. When you eat, you eat a large, great, big piece of meat, which you could easily fed the whole family in China. And we eat a lot of vegetable in China, and we have soup. But once I came to the United States, you find beginning to experience fast food, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, pizza, and I noticed my weight began to gain. When Mr. Yin was 56 years old, he suddenly experienced severe chest pains. At that time, I had an open heart surgery. I had five bypass, five. But it was very interesting. About a week later, uh, I felt uh, my chest tighten up again. So myself and my wife went to see Dr. Esselstyn. I saw every one of these patients myself every two weeks for the first five years. And at that visit, we would get a full cholesterol lipid profile. We would get blood, blood pressure, weight, and I would go over every morsel they ate. By using simple foods as the main treatment for his patients, Dr. Esselstyn was bucking a high-tech, high-cost system that was deeply entrenched in both big medicine and big government. You know, behind my back, I got to be known as Dr. Sprouts. <laughs> but I guess I've always liked a challenge. 